Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through notes on 1G, which is order of operations. Um, now, I'm sure most of you have heard of PEMDAS. Or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, that stands for doing the order. If you have some kind of expression or equation um, with several um, mathematical operations, uh, you know that you have to do You've been told that you need to do parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication, then division, then addition, subtraction. It's actually not entirely true. There, there is a way that this will work, but there's also ways where that this will actually not work. Um, you always want to do parentheses first, and then you always want to do exponents, and then you want to do multiplication and division need to go together and then also addition and subtraction need to go together and that's always left to right on both of these left to right so um, if you do it this way then PEMDAS will work um, but if you would do parentheses first then exponents then you do all your multiplication then you do all your division then you do all your addition then you do all your subtraction you'll actually end up with the wrong answer so um, I like to not use PEMDAS anymore, um, but instead, if you do division before multiplication and you do subtraction before addition, that way will always work. So I like P-E-D-M-S-A, PEDMSA. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'd just go with that. But um, so this way, if you do parentheses first, I think that's how you spell it, um, and then exponents, then division, then multiplication, Then subtraction. And then addition. It will always work. Okay, so um, for example, let's try this. Let's try example 13 on page 31. All right, this says to evaluate, and here is what they give us. They give us 35 minus 10, divide by 2, times 5, plus 3, okay? So, uh, with this, the first... Again, if we pay attention to PEDMASA instead of PEMDAS, um, it will again actually steer us the right direction. The first thing you'd want to do on this, according to PEDMASA, would be, let's see, there's no parentheses to worry about. There's no exponents to deal with. So the first thing you'd actually want to do is this division for piece first. So first thing, division. Okay, so we would do 35. And then you can either look at it as negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5, or you could put subtract, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. Either way, you end up getting negative 5 there. And then let's just write the rest of it on there, times 5 plus 3. Um, so then the, there's no more division to do, so the next thing we would do would be multiplication. So the next thing we would do would be 5 times 5. So 35 minus 5 times 5 is 25. And then we write plus 3. So that was multiplication. Oops. Um, and then this next piece here. Again, we want to do subtraction before we do addition. 
So 35 minus 25 is our next piece. So that would give us 10. And then I'm just gonna write our plus three. So then the last thing we would do would be addition. So 10 plus three would give us 13. And that's the correct answer, All right? Now, just as a uh, quick little sidelight, if we did PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, then division, then addition, then subtraction, this is what you would get. So let's rewrite that we've got 35 minus 10 divided by 2 times 5 plus 3. If we did the old PEMDAS way, and I would suggest probably not writing this down because you don't want the wrong example in here. I just want to show you the, uh, the difference. So with PEMDAS, again, no parentheses, no exponents. So the first thing according to PEMDAS would be multiplication. So the first thing you would do here would be 35 minus 10 divided by, and then you do 2 times 5, which is 10 plus 3. So again, no more multiplication, so then we would do division. So you'd have negative 10 divided by 10, so that's 35 minus 1 plus 3. Um, and next thing tells us to, um, sorry, PEMDAS tells us to add. So we would do 35 minus, and you do 1 plus 3 is 4, and you'd end up with 31 which is not right, should be 13, okay? So, um, again, PEMDAS would work if you did. Let me show you something here. Um, again, parentheses, exponents, and then if you do multiplication and division left to right, it will work. So if you look at this, again, no parentheses, no exponents. If you do multiplication and division together left to right, it will work because, it will work because if you look at this, we got negative 10 divided by two is negative five. And then you would multiply that by 5. So look, you have negative 5 times 5. And that gave us our negative 25. And then addition and subtraction would be our next step. So you'd have to do addition and subtraction going left to right. So you do 35 minus 25, which is 10. And then you'd add the 3, which would give us 13. So again, if you do this PEMDAS, as long as you go left to right with multiplication and division and addition and subtraction, then it works. Otherwise, the um, I don't know, I think the little bit easier way is just to remember Pedensa. Alright, so let's, let's, take an, uh, another, let's take a look at another example. All right, let's take a look at example 14 from page 32. And that says two times, and then the parentheses three times six minus four, close parentheses plus seven. All right, so using ped um, we can make this, we can make this work out. So uh, first thing is parentheses. You want to take a very care of everything in parentheses. Now, if you'll notice, there's two different operations to perform here within the parentheses. So um, when you're doing operations within the parentheses, you still follow pedensa and you'll be okay. So the first thing we want to do is multiply. So this is going to be 2 times, 3 times 6 is 18, and then we have minus 4 plus 7. So to finish off the parentheses, we only have one operation left, so 2 times 18 minus 4 is 14 plus 7. Um, the parentheses are now done, so we don't need to, to worry about that anymore. There's no exponents. There's no division. Next thing is multiplication. So we have 2 times 14, which gives us 28. Oops, not plus 17, but just plus 7. 
and then we add those together and we get 35. All right. Uh, let's also take a look at example 16 from page 32 as well, and that is minus parentheses 4 minus 2 all over 14 divided by 3 plus 4 and the 3 plus 4 is also in parentheses so um, really what you want to do on this is you want to think of the numerator here all as a big set of parentheses and then also you want to think of the denominator as another big set of parentheses so really what you want to do is you want to simplify this numerator all the way to get one number and then simplify the denominator to get a number as well so first thing parentheses 4 minus 2 so we have 16 minus 4 minus 2 is 2 and then if you simplify that you get 14 on the top and then on the bottom parentheses is 3 plus 4 so that is going to be 14 divided by 7 and if you take 14 divided by 7 you get 2 so 14 divided by 2 just gives us 7 so the answer to that one would just be 7 all right um, one more to try and really this actually two more to try um, I'm gonna throw two problems up here and your best bet right now is to try to figure these out on your own and see how well you can do and then you know just push pause while you're solving it and then when you're done go back and check it and see if you got it right so it's kind of a little way for you to check to see how you're doing All right, so let's do this check Actually, let's use a new page. All right, here's your check. Um, A is going to be five plus brackets. 13 minus, and then we have, in parentheses, 8 divided by 4. Close the brackets. And then, for example, B, we have 7 minus 2 squared plus 4 times 6 divided by 3 minus five okay so again just take a quick pause on this try these two out see what you come up with and then start back up again and i will um, walk it through with you all right so first thing we want to do on this here is eight oh sorry we've got the parentheses which we have actually two sets of parentheses we have the big brackets and then we have the parentheses within the the brackets so you want to start with the innermost parentheses first. So the first thing we want to do is take 8 divided by 4. So that will give us 5 plus 13 minus, and then our 8 divided by 4 just gives us 2. Um, again, we still have parentheses, so we got to do this 13 minus 2 next. So we do 5 plus 13 minus 2 is 11. So we get 5 plus 11 is. 16 for the first one. For B, uh, we want to do the exponents first here. So it's 7 minus, and then you do 2 squared. You don't take negative 2 and square it. The only time you would do that is if this was in this negative 2 was in parentheses, then you'd take the negative 2 times negative 2. Otherwise, you just take 2 squared, which is 4, and you still subtract it. And then we still have 4 times. 6 divided by 3 minus 5. Alright, so 
Uh, the next thing we have to do would be, again, there's no more, there's no parentheses to start with. There's no more exponents. So next thing we'd want to do is division. So I'm going to do 6 divided by 3. So 7 minus 4 plus 4 times 6 divided by 3 gives us 2 minus 5. Uh, next thing we want to do is, since there's no more division, is to do the multiplication. So 7 minus 4 plus 8. I'm having a hard time with 8, apparently. There we go. Minus 5. And then let's see the last two steps, let's see, are going to be subtraction first. So if you really want, you can actually do both of these in the same step. So we can do 7 minus 4 is 3. And then we're going to add 8 minus 5, which is 3. And then our last step is to do our addition, which gives us 6. All right. So uh, that's that on order operations. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right. Thanks.